If you're responsible for running a higher education institution, then this video is for you. It's about the way our students and their information needs are changing and how we need to adjust to that new reality. For the last three years, I've been running the Arcadia project at Cambridge University Library. This is a project whose overall aim is to explore the role of an academic library in a digital environment. And one of the things we realised very early on is that the way we think about info skills, the information needs that contemporary students have, and the way we support them as librarians and teachers, needs a really radical overhaul. So we embarked on an ambitious project to design a new curriculum for what in the end we were calling information literacy. ANSEL for short. Now in thinking about this new curriculum we adopted two basic design principles. The first is that information literacy is not just a concern for libraries and librarians. It's something that should concern anyone involved in the teaching process. This is not just because information literacy in a digital world is a necessary condition for becoming an independent learner at university. It's also increasingly important for employability and for surviving in a world where most information, for example, about health and illness, will only be available online. So by taking information literacy seriously, we'll be helping our institutions to turn out well-rounded graduates, no matter what their degree subject is. The second design principle for the new curriculum is that there's no one-size-fits-all prescription. Every university, every department, every subject is different. So what we came up with is a package that is very flexible and that you can adapt to your needs. So we're not saying that this is how information literacy should be taught, only that it's really important for the sake of our students, our institutions and our society that we take it seriously and not treat it as a service to be delegated or outsourced to the library. There's an old saying that war is too important to be left to the generals. Well, information literacy is now too important to be left to the librarians. Information literacy matters because it's the foundation of learning. It's not just the ability to find information, it's also the ability to use it, to judge it, to evaluate it critically at the highest intellectual level. This means that information literacy, like learning, is everybody's business in the university because we are all here to support student learning. What's different about ANSEL is that it provides a practical and learner-focused approach. This helps students to develop not just as discerning scholars, but as independent and lifelong learners. ANSEL is modular. It supports the entire learning journey. It doesn't just outline ideal levels of ability. ANSEL defines 10 aspects or strands of information literacy that span the entire gamut of learning. These range from the key skills of finding and using information through the subject context of the student's discipline, through to presenting, communicating, using information ethically and appropriately, right up to the highest level intellectual operations of synthesis and creating new knowledge. It's aimed at undergraduate students over the next five years, but recognises that they're not a homogenous group, so one size doesn't fit all. With that in mind, it's essential to audit students to really understand their needs. This helps design a session or a programme appropriately. The way the curriculum is taught is as important as its content. Students need to be given opportunities for reflection and discussion. Peer learning and peer support are also important. For those delivering the curriculum, it is a shift from training to teaching, which may be more challenging to deliver. The essential thing about the curriculum is that its definition of information literacy is very broad, so it couldn't be delivered in its entirety by any one profession or department, but needs to be the subject of a strategic joined-up approach across the institution to ensure that it's delivered and implemented in a holistic way. It has a variety of uses. It can be used as an audit tool. It could also be used as a benchmarking tool to inform learning outcomes and course design. And of course, it's a very practical set of teaching resources that can be delivered either in central services or as part of subject teaching. The curriculum can be used as an audit skills tool. It can be used to create the questions that are then put into either surveys or used in interviews. 
The 10 strands and five categories are ideal for identifying where provision is lacking and also where provision may be duplicated by staff. All the different sectors in the university may provide some information literacy skills teaching and the toolkit can be used to identify where duplication is taking place and who is actually best equipped to deliver the teaching. It also encourages staff to identify their own best practice and where they might need to develop their skills and improve their delivery.